It was Christmas Eve 2016. We were um, sitting in the house watching TV about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, all of a sudden I hear a ruckus in the garage. Now, it was a loud ruckus and it sounded like something just ran through there. So I'm thinking it's either a deer or one of the Bigfoots have got something and they ran through there with it. And um, so I go... I go out there to see what it was and it's this weird candy smell everywhere I mean it's in the garage um, it's in the garage it's in the um in the yard I look around and I trace it back it's at the woods then I hear moaning out there I hear like uh, uh, and my first thought was they killed a deer and it's down there dying you know that was my first thought but um but, as, but then I let my dogs out, and then my dogs smelt it. I let my wife out, she smelt it. So, I mean, it was a weird candy smell. And um, so later in that day, I would say about an hour later, hour and a half later, something came to me and says, come to the woods. So I go, I go out there, and I see what it was. You know, something just, just honestly told me it was a baby. And, and they had had a baby down in the woods. And I would say about, I would say about maybe around 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, I went back out there. I went down where I knew where it was at. And um, I got a picture, even though it's kind of dark. And I saw the, the mama that was laid on another female's lap and looked like she was half dead. The dad was holding the baby up, showing it to me. Now, it's hard to believe, but I did get a picture of it. Um, you know, I know some some people think, well, he's crazy, but I'm not. I'm telling you the truth about all this. And, um, you know, later on, a few days later, it was bitterly cold. Well, not even a few days later, maybe the next day, it was bitterly cold outside. I mean, it was what I call below zero cold. And all of a sudden, you hear the baby. And you hear the baby calling out and, and wah, wah. And I'm thinking to myself, there's nothing out here tonight. Why in the world? And I start getting concerned. I go inside and tell my wife, I said, that baby's not safe out here in this cold. Do you think we should go out there and get it and bring it in? And then I just said, well... They've been doing this for thousands of years. I'm not going to worry about, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting that the Sasquatch can, you know, take care of their own. So I didn't. But look on my YouTube page. I got the video of the baby crying. I mean, well, the audio, because you really can't see it. But then I got a picture a few a few months later of, it, of the little female Sasquatch, you know, I telepathically got the name of it. It's Nafidi. Nafidi was the name of it. They told me this telepathically, you know, because, and then, you know, it was all, you know, it was incredible. Not to mention Christmas Eve of all things. So I felt like I was so, it was such an honor for them to allow me to hear that and allow me to see that. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I come out here and do this thing because of the respect and the, and the encounters I've had already are just incredible.